You know, the health of our economy is, uh, you know, you can tell whether it's recovering or not in a number of different ways. One of those ways is the health of our real estate market. And we focused a lot on residential in the past, but now I want to focus on the commercial residential, the commercial real estate rather, because that is where the jobs are created. That's the indicator of whether our economy is doing better. And with us is David Marino. He's the executive vice president of Hughes Marino uh, Incorporated. These folks are tenant representatives. They're the ones who get tenants into commercial industri and industrial buildings, specializing in high value, time critical, and complex transactions. David is uh, focusing on technology, and this is where we've got to look at the jobs, life science, and business service companies. And he's an expert in this stuff, and, we, and he joins us now with his expertise. David, thanks for being on the program. Thanks for the opportunity, Roger. So, what is happening in the San Diego commercial real estate market? Well, it's in recovery right now. And the reason it's in recovery is because everybody can read the job reports. And if you think about commercial real estate, what fills up office buildings? Employees, right? So people getting hired, products being manufactured, the distribution supply chain filling back up around new construction activities and consumer demand. So things are happening in commercial real estate. Really, we're entering year three of this. This is really the third year now in a row that we've seen improvement. You've seen improvement. That's right. right. How much? Because we always hear about this recovery. The recovery is this, this much. How much improvement are we seeing? Is yeah. it accelerating? It, it is accelerating. So in 2010, second half 2011, we saw about 2 million square feet of what we call net absorption. So in other words, okay. space coming off the market right. on a net basis. What happened last year was we had almost 3 million square feet, okay. so it was an accelerated year. And we think this year we'll have another 2.5 to 3 million square feet of space come off the market. And that's Now, you're not saying 4 million. You're not saying 5 million. 2.5, no. 3 sounds like we're leveling off. You know, and I think as long as you have a steady trajectory and none of these hockey sticks that everybody talks about, that's when we have a sane economy. In other words, it, we can't run away with ourselves again. And when things expand too quickly, that's when we get air in the system and something blows up. Now, you're representing the tenants, and at Hughes Marino, you're focused on their needs, and you're going up against these big landlords. Do the landlords hold the same kind of whip hand they do in residential because there's been so little construction that as new demand comes along, those rents are going to go up? It's really a different business model because residential apartments as rentals versus office buildings as rentals. Right. Institutional landlords like the Irvine Company <laughs> and Kilroy and these other big groups have a different perspective. They have a more long-term orientation with their tenants because the tenants might stay around for decades. You know, companies, if they can accommodate their expansion and stay in business, will never leave, right? right? So And you want that. That's right. And so, <laughs> so landlords and commercial properties tend to be kinder and gentler, I think. And also they have to deal with us every day because right now we're representing about 300 active client transactions wow. in San Diego County. And so we're at their door every day doing business with them as well. Looking at that demand in a little more detail, David, talk about the, the you represent the life sciences and the high tech people and all those kinds of businesses. Which ones are doing more in terms of demanding more space and obviously then growing? Yeah, I would say generally the technology broad sector is doing the best. And, and that includes semiconductor companies like Peregrine Semiconductor and Entropic Communications. It includes uh, internet companies like Dac Active Network. Um, it includes um, software, electronics, really anybody doing um, any kind of product. It also includes a lot of companies like LifeProof that's going through some exciting expansion right now and other consumer products as consumer demand is recovering at the same time. Because in the, for instance, the biomedical, we see Governor Rick Perry from Texas in town. He's, he's trying to get ResMed and some of these other uh, 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 businesses to go to Texas. Is that affecting the business? Are you seeing much of that, businesses leaving San Diego? We aren't seeing businesses leaving, but what we are seeing is companies starting to try to carve out a part of the business and looking at, at putting that out of California, unfortunately. And this, this thing around Prop 30 and the state taxes in California have really hit a tipping point where people are now forced to look at it, unfortunately. Wow, all right. now. The final thing, though, because there's been no, no construction I've seen around here in commercial buildings in a long time, is that going to be a limiting factor that drives up rents eventually, even if you do have kinder and gentler <coughs> landlords? Yeah, so in the short term, what's been happening for large <coughs> tenants like LPL Financial in UTC for 415,000 square feet or the, the FBI that's moving out of Kearney Mesa to Sereno Mesa right. is they're having to build large facilities for large users. But what's happening as a result is in their wake, those second generation buildings are coming to market. So in UTC alone, seven buildings on the Town Center Drive corridor are coming back to market as a result of LPL's big move. In Kearney Mesa, That's another three buildings are coming back to market. So 
the net effect of that is yes, some new construction, but yet older vintage buildings coming back. David, thanks for coming on. We're going to have you again. Great expertise. Thank on you, the Roger. Economy of San Diego. We'll be back. Stay with us after this.